new free beta that came out today called Istralid. So thank you, Cal, for the heads up. We're going to do the campaign because it has a tutorial apparently. So all ship parts must be connected. So i got to drag these parts together. There we go. It's also okay. free. Yeah, free, guys. Free. Hard to beat. Click here to start. Okay, so drag to select. Oh, wow. It looks like it should be an app game. Like a... <laughs> Okay, right. Drag to move ships in formation with right click. Wait, what? Huh. Okay. So will he aim? Ah, right, wait. Will he turn? Yeah, to turn. Okay, that'll do for now. Pan map with middle mouse button. Move here didn't to seem capture. To, I don't know if that works for you, but it didn't seem to work for me. I had to use my uh, WAS keys to pan the map. That could just be my local settings, though, so. Wait here, capture the point. Okay, you need every point, so move in range, and now start shooting each other. Go! Pew, 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 pew! Oh, turning is bad. Wait here to capture. Oh, there's more up here. Okay, I like this. Strategizes. So what's that? Are they mines? I bet they are. Uh, there's some static defenses. They're usually pretty easy to deal with. You know their range. So just sit out of range and the far up. Or fly in and use your heavy I got him. Nice. Congratulations. You've unlocked light beam, 90 degree turret mount, scout thruster, and two to one react two by one reactor. Okay. Difficulty is currently on commander. Menu. Oh, is that is that is that the campaign then? What? <laughs> um, Did I crash it? The campaign is like going through a galactic map. Oh, weird. Well, for me, the campaign kind of just ended after the tutorial. Hang on. Do I have to like fly them somewhere. Oh no, I think I've been uh, fell, fallen victim to a um, a beta bug. You need to capture every point to win. So, do I have to go back to this point then? Don't know. I thought it said I'd finished it, but... Nope, it's not that. Well, I guess challenges then? Is that not what you did? No, I was doing campaign, man. Weird. Is it not working for you? Yeah, my campaign has gone a bit funny. Hang on. I'm going to restart it. Because that was pretty straightforward. Alright. It's not as... Ah, um, there we go. I've got it. it it's put it's me on a map. It's not as... Uh, as freeform as... Um, 
as reassembly is, but like if you want to do tactical design your ships, fight a specific Ooh. type of enemy kind of stuff, this is Yeah. It's it's definitely got its own niche. So wings allow it's, the ship to turn faster. Yeah, um armor gives you more uh, hit points. Um wings give you faster turn radius um based on your mass. Um Thrusters give you faster acceleration versus your mass. Uh, there's also an, uh, an interesting dynamic between um, weight ratios and item costs and the effect that they have on you. Like, you can get huh. really effective um, uh, armor, right? But because you're getting really effective armor, it's just super heavy because you're basically just bulking up. You can get effective armor for cheap that's really light, but it costs you a lot more. Right? It's like if you want some high-tech fighter armor, you're going to pay a lot for it. It's not going to not gonna add a lot of armor, but it's right. great for a really little ship that wants light armor. You just wouldn't want to use it on a carrier. Not that you can make carriers, but you can get it. And then there's there's a lot of stuff like let you play with the dynamics of uh, for your weapons, you know, shields. Uh, there's a cloaking device. There's different shapes and sizes. Although it doesn't seem that any of the uh, system parts get larger than a square, so you can have one by one, one by two, or two by two. The different thrusters um, are good for higher thrust, but less efficient. So, like a fighter would work really well. You wouldn't want to use that on a capital ship, though. I win. Through all your energy. That was fun. There's a lot of dynamics to play around with in this. So, if someone enjoys doing that. Oh wow! What's this? You'll you'll lose hours. What's what now? Oh, and every time you do one of the uh, levels in the campaign, you get a reward. 90 degree turret, mounts hold weapons, yeah, engines make your ship go faster, cool. Put some of them there. Reactors generate energy. Yeah, we got a reactor there, okay. Battery stores energy, which is cheaper than having a reactor in. The downside being that once it runs out, it's out. Or, you know, it has to get recharged. Is this still destroyed? User disconnected from your channel. But that uh -huh. reactor's at the front. That's not a good idea. It does not. It doesn't matter. I'd it, rather it's... do something like Tom. Yeah. Placement doesn't matter. Oh, doesn't it? Oh well, it nope. just looks cooler to me this way. <laughs> no, no, that, that's fine. I, I'm just letting you know. Be, it, unlike other games, um, it doesn't matter where you place it. Uh, the only thing that affects is the arcs for your weapons and the center points for your weapons if that makes sense take him down <clears throat> so our ship's destroyed then they're send, send out the fleet no it's your ships all the blocks uh, have right. a little hit points and once your ship gets hit with that total number of hit points it blows up there's no individual uh. destruction in one game I was playing, it was called Star Drive and Star Drive 2. I don't know if you've ever played those games, but um, oh, they had a, the fleet is strong. <laughs> they had a, a, a block where you could put an interceptor block or your like reactor blocks, and, whatever. and you would lay, you pretty much you would put armor around your ship with the armor block so that because the armor thing the first thing they get struck, it's the same thing. You can make. Yeah, but this doesn't have that. It's, no, it doesn't. But I'm pretty sure you know what, if it's free to play and it's in beta or alpha as it is in right now, those things might be implemented later. Maybe. Um, Maybe. But at, right now, it's like how you design it is just purely aesthetic, shape-wise. Flanking! Otherwise, uh. all that really matters is what is there. Is there a like, co-op or yeah, player? Yeah, there's player. Uh, neat. There's challenge mode, campaign. Kind of like a tutorial because you how to, how to use each piece um, as you go through it, if that makes sense. Oh, this is awesome, dude. It's like a and the really basic strategy game. Campaign. 
Oh, it gets really complex. Well, I got complex. him. It, I it got really him. makes you um, stay on your toes. It also has a clicks per minute thing that it tracks. Really? It's like it, it, yeah, it'll tell you how quickly you're uh, you're operating. So batteries huh. are cheaper, so we'll put and, batteries. And there are strategies like, you know, moving guys in um, and doing like pincer movements or sneaking in behind the border. That oh shit boy. works. Mushroom fleet fighters. Oh boy. I've actually been having trouble making fighters because it's just really hard to make little units that are effective. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit! Like, it, My it's, fighters it's, were it's annihilated. Do what I mean? Yeah. What it really comes down to is fighters are shit. <laughs> Don't use fighters. Use like medium. I'm using them as a decoy, and then my my the rest of my yeah. forces get to stay. Yeah. Um. I I'll also kind of pull out scouts to grab things like on the engines where my battleships aren't going, but. Mostly I'll just build a few large battleships and just have them plow through. Usually does the trick. There's been some exceptions where it's a bad strategy and I had to go with um, more uh, like interceptor sized ships instead of instead. Come on, repel this entire guys. It's some fun times. Anyways, I hope you enjoy it. It's a fun find, and uh, I have to go to bed. So. All right, bud. Thanks for the scoop. Uh, gotta, I'm loving I this right now. This is work. great. Yeah, shit's free. You can never turn that down, right? Mm-hmm. Oh good. yeah, yeah. I got him. So basically, that was awesome. I'm just gonna keep on playing through this. This is great. Oh wow, you can get over here. I don't know why. Okay, so I can go plasma turret. So it's going good. Yeah, this is great. Uh, what did you get there, Tom? And heavy white ar heavyweight armor for torpedoes. So high fire power, fire power torpedo battleships. So this makes everything slower. I want to go high HP, slow what? Plasma turret. Yeah. Oh my God, plasma turret. Mount has no turret attached. You have to put a turret on there. Yeah, you do. Uh, batteries. So we're gonna put a battery here, and we'll put a battery here, and it probably hasn't. Sounds like a game point. I want to play. At this some is point. awesome, I gotta, dude. Yeah, I gotta finish this config though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they do? <laughs> so I'm almost done, one thankfully. There, one there. Wait, this I is light to... beam. Oh. Light beam as opposed to heavy beam. Yeah. Heavy, heavy D. Heavy so. beam. I was watching this thing on, uh, I think it was YouTube. Wingy bits, yeah. Or was it YouTube? I can't remember, but it was basically, it might have been, you know what, it might have been on her G+. I could be wrong. Anyway, it was about this girl saying that she was talking to some guy on her AIM chat. Uh-huh. And... We're uh, streaming she... right now, Viz. But yeah, carry oh. on if you want. Oh, sorry. I didn't <laughs> no, I'm just like, you know, do you want to carry on? <laughs> I don't know where this is going. It, it's just, it's, she ends up saying that she wants The Sims 3, and this guy was going to get it. Well, he wanted it, and then he said he didn't want to get it because it was too costly. He said it was 15 pounds. And she was like, she's like, oh, I don't understand why things weigh so much there. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, poor woman. Oh, she wow. was like, yeah, she's like, I think they have a language barrier. <laughs> she, she's like, I didn't ask how much it weighed, I asked how, how much it cost. <laughs> I'm like way over power right now. Let me just see. Uh, but yeah, I really want to really see that game. Good times. What is the plan? If I take that and that, I can actually put two reactors next to each other. And then I can space that out. Whoa, you don't want to do that, do you? Move that to there, move that to there, move that to there, move that to there. That looks a bit stupid, though. Oh, wait, actually. So you don't put it there.
Ah, I think we're all right for power now, actually. Lol. It's fun, like, new, new games. So put them up there. I bet this is like the most expensive ship ever now. <laughs> it's completely impractical. <laughs> End game ship material. Yeah, it's like, you know, once I learn how to play this game, I'll be like, why did I ever even try this? <laughs> That's what it's like with most ship designs when you build it. You build this ship, this thing's getting extremely overpowered, and all of a sudden you're just like, oh, after you figure out how you build it, how to build everything, you're like, why did I even build this junk? <laughs> Yep. Whoa, put that there. Yeah, good. Put that there. Still needs more power. So now we can do that. And more batteries. More batteries. This is like really expensive. Just don't forget that the power is uh, everything used at once. Yeah, I know, yeah. So you can manage it. That's alright, I haven't put the engines on yet. <laughs> Nobody needs engines. <laughs> eh. It's gonna be slow. <laughs> um, 78 meters per second, but it costs like $700. <laughs> like the last chip I had cost 150 <laughs> well, it's a start. <laughs> Put a wingy bit there and a wingy bit there. What's the name of it? Oh, it's going to be a migraine trigger, of course. I'll call it migraine trigger version one. I don't know if I can actually <laughs> name them, but you know. No, you can't, but ah. for all play purposes. So it has got a lot of reactors, which is what's most, that's most of the price, you know? Yes. And batteries. So I could probably, you know, change this, but I, I'll, I'll just go with this and see. It's like a big battleship, I guess. It's cool. It's survivable. Yeah. Who knows? All right. So click here to start the battle. Mushroom fleet versus tank. All right. I have. I'm basically about to fight his battleship. With me. Oh, 
always trying to capture my shit while I'm out. I need to get this next uh, thing before he does. Get out of it, you. You have to win to fight. Shit. Oh no, you don't. Good. Seems like your ship is good. <laughs> Damn it, that guy's really fast. I can't keep up. Right. Right. Now I need to reinforce. So, you move to there. I'm waiting on the... Uh... Go hit and run. They're gonna hold this for long enough, I hope. For this guy to come in. Oh no, they've defeated my armada! Hopefully this guy's OP. And... Aha! I barely even touched him. And these guys can secure that. Oh look, they built another one. <laughs> Let's see if Mike can take two. <laughs> oh my god, he's ramming him! They won't challenge him, look. Brilliant. I've unlocked Plasma Turret. Woohoo! Now I'm even stronger. Just get in a circle. <laughs> Ooh, 270 degree turret mount. Next. What's this? Bulk thruster. Very efficient for moving high mass at slow speeds. Hmm. Hmm. But it says slow. <laughs> I'm less interested when it says slow. <laughs> ah, Ben! Hello! Anyway. Oh, right. It, yeah, that was Cal. All right. See you, Luke. See you, dude. Danger. Cool, man. User disconnected so, from your what channel. have we got? Let's go for that 270 turret mount. That's what I want. I've also got plasma turrets now. So, let's just change one of these bad boys here for a plasma turret. Oh, wow. That looks pretty cool. I'm tempted to just go full plasma. Maybe put another engine in, because it was pretty slow. There we go. It's reasonable. Right, now, the scout. How about we put the long-range plasma turret on the scout? Oh, God! Yeah, he's going to need... Yes! A two by one reactor on the scout. Okay, and then we'll put that there. That there. And more engines. It's not really a scout anymore, but that's okay. And then for this guy, I think we're going to increase the shroom. Uh, there we go. Put that there. Put that. Whoa. Put that. Whoa. Oi. Put that. Ah, no. <laughs> Fiddly it is. Right. 270 turret. Right there. And right there. And light beam. Light beam. Take that off. There. Almost a couple of batteries, another one, and then more engines. Apparently, it doesn't matter where stuff goes, so that's cool. Yeah, that's what Cal was saying earlier. 
Yeah. Who's saying that the placement's still better at all? I might have just completely destroyed the efficiency of my entire fleet, but let's go. So it's taught man. Whoa, that torpedo! Ah, oh, torpedo bastards! Holy crap! Not cool! Holy shit! They are wrecking my skin! Okay, so I got... Oh god! Right, let's capture that one and hope. Oh, shit. Head, run home, run home. <laughs> shit. The fleet's been annihilated. <laughs> Whoa, wreckage. Okay, this is close. Are you playing on the campaign? Yeah, I'm on uh, campaign. Once you finish the tutorial, it allows you to. Oh no! I've only got 279. All I can build is a single scout. So it is. No! No! <laughs> Shit, one of them's dead already! No! <laughs> yeah, I'm getting wrecked. Defeat. Wow. That was hard. I'm going to give that another go. Just different, just play it differently and see. Right then, I'm going to rush you. Use the speed, use the speed. Keep moving. Oh god, no, I got hit. Come on, shoot, shoot. I've got the wrong gun on this guy, haven't I? Okay, so we got him. Right, build another one. Group. Damn it! Course correction. Come on, shit. Yes. So the torpedoes, once they fire, they can't turn. So that's something, and they are slow moving. Oh my god. So I've actually got to keep moving. Whoa! Whoa! Oh shit! Get hit. Oh shit! Come on, take him down! Yes! Reinforcements, Luba. 
If I capture this, I've won. He'll probably spawn one more. Yes! Do you know what? I love this. The strategy is amazing. Because <coughs> you actually have to be... You know, it's a bit like Command and Conquer in a way. Heavy flak, anti-fighter weapon that, that explodes target area damage. I can't believe this game's really small as well. It's like super tiny. Um, so what have we got here? Heavyweight armor. Heavyweight armor. Heavy flak, which is a new gun. Could go for the bulk thruster. You never know. It might make my um, my larger ship better. Then again, the heavy flak with the 270. I'll try that. Okay. So let's take that off. Sounds like Lego it does. Right. So 270 degree turret. Put two of them in. And we'll have these guys do you know what I reckon I might get away with putting another 270 here sounds crazy but it might work so let's try it Oh, ah, just a little bit too much. Um, that's okay. I can move these down and put one there. Oh, it's not quite enough. Okay, move them down again. It's going to make this so expensive. The battle shroom. <laughs> Probably Yes. Whoa. Hmm. That is actually a hailstorm. It's just to put a couple batteries in here. Hmm. Super expensive though, Jesus. Um <laughs> Okay, cool. Now as for this guy. I think that actually this guy needs a light beam or maybe even two light beams yes ah yes put the 270 turret on this guy Yep, I can see myself wasting a long time on this thing. Right. <clears throat> okay, so they're a little bit more expensive, but they're twice as uh, packing, packing twice the punch. Seven for that. Whoa. So we got a mini shroom, migraine trigger three, and migraine trigger four. Looking good so far. What's this? Empty. Oh my god. 
I can, oh, wait a minute. I can build it from scratch. Okay, so basically that. Can I copy paste in this? Don't know. Um, whoa, 270, whoa, 270, 270. 270 turret 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 okay battery 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 Whoa, battery, and then put some engines. And the wingy bits. Oops. Yeah. Oh, that's tight. Super tight. I wonder, I could probably make it a little bit better by doing that. Mm, and a little bit more. Ah, oh, damn it, it gets too expensive. 417. So I got 878 for the battleship. Cruiser is 462. I got a long range, which should be faster. So I got heavy armored patrol, and then I got a light attack. But these things will get blown to pieces. There's like no armor at all, I don't think. So 58, 117. Shit, the fastest ship I have is my massive Terra Shroom. Maybe I should just build them. <laughs> So I think if I build these, these might be able to... Alright, let's try it out. Let's build one of these. And another one. And a couple of them. And go. Screw it. Let's go to where they're going. Oh shit! Oh wow! You're doing really well! <laughs> Come on then, mate! Oh no. I lost one of my bros. Oh no. Right, move up. Reinforcements are in. Yay, the Terra Shroom is here. Last objective, I think. Get wrecked. I don't think we're even going to need the battleship. Yep. Hell yeah! Got heavy flak. 
Oh man, this is fun. Okay, so what's next? Ultra light armor. Ooh. Wing. A better, another wing. More heavyweight armor. Okay, so basically ultra light armor for the fighter swarm. Ooh. Or armored fighter swarm. Hmm. I think probably ultralight. Oh man, so many slots. I love it. So now I've got heavy flak. Heavy flak. I reckon we should turn this one into the heavy flak. So I'll take that off and put this on. There we go. So now I've got a heavy flak. And should we? We could put heavy flak on the fighter. Let's try that out. And then we've still got this guy, and we've still got that guy. But it's, this is the this is this is actually pretty good. I'm gonna try and make another one. So, right click to pick it up, and left click to place seems to be a lot nicer than click and drag. So let's go with the T shape. I like the T shape. Okay, so we'll go with two two seventies and no, actually three two seventies and a fourth at the back might work. Probably need another reactor though. Whoa. Yeah, it's getting expensive. Let's put this one at the back and the cheaper one at the front. We'll put the heavy flak on the front. The light beams on each side. And the plasma turret at the back. And then chuck some rockets on it. Get some wings if I can afford it. How fast does it go? 141 meters per second. Not bad. All right. Can we afford a bit more? Ah, it's getting into cruiser money. Um, it's not really a fighter, is it? <laughs> Okay, how about we put engines up front like that. It's ridiculously over. Yeah, it needs more batteries. There we go. 400. Okay, let's see how these work out. Let's go! Whoa, what's going on? Ah. Wow. I'm moving up. Wow, their their fight is a sh their shit. Alpha swarm gets wrecked. Flak, mate. I think it's the flak. I don't know. Yeah. Mushroom flea. Bring in the backup. I don't think I need it. Yeah. One. Yeah. Ultralight armor. All right. 
So what's my next choice? My next choice is auto cannon. Ooh, ooh, auto cannon. Right, add turn rate. Okay, let's add some turn rate then, shall we? Oh, nice. We've got under under armors as well. Oh, whoa, no. Oh, no. Gets a bit confused if you accidentally put something on top of each other, but... This is really quite solid. I love it. Let's get some more engines. Now they're a lot more expensive now, but worth every penny, because holy crap they performed well. This guy is like... Pretty sweet. Okay. Start the battle. Give me shrooms. Because we're going to capture that and we're going to move on up. Oh, we sent, so he sent a scout. How dare you try to take my, my beautiful uh, area of space. Something tells me I'm going to have a bit of trouble with these guys. Right, move up. There's a cloaking generator in here. I would expect so. Uh, man mission to screw him over. Right, reinforcements are on the way. Come back here. Right, now's the time to make my move. I'm chasing that guy out of the game. Come back and hold defense. Oi! How dare you! They're running around just outside my range. It's clever. Yeah, they're whittling me down. Right, get capturing, guys. Getting the last shot. Come on, guys. Right, everyone, move up. Can he hold it? Yes, he can. <laughs> I love, I love it. That's awesome. Okay, and you, this is only on medium difficulty. You can turn this difficulty right up. I love that as well. So, what do we got? Wing. Can I get this? Energy transfer gives energy to units 800 meters. Two by two reactor for heavy ship designs. Whew. Battery. What? Haven't I already got a battery? Oh, it's a bigger battery. And a bigger wing. Mm. Two by two reactor. Bulk thruster, battery. Let's go for the battery in the extra wingy bit this time. So I got Gatling guns now. Oh my god. So let's uh, repurpose this guy. So let's take off these. And that. And that. Put 
put that to there. I wonder. Whoa. Oh no. It's still too expensive though. We'll see how much these need. So that's not on, is it? Oh, they need hardly anything. Don't they need to reload or something? Do they have an ammo cap? No. Oh my god, they use barely any power at all. You know what that means? More turrets. Add another one there, another one there. Right, and then... Uh, the, the fighter armors and more um, more engines. There we go. Five hundred dollars. <laughs> That's all right. We'll use these guys in the next game for a giggle. Right. I need all of them. Just give me a big fleet of. <laughs> Where are they going? They're going here first. Haha! <laughs> I thought this might happen. <laughs> oh, that's immense. Yeah, they're again getting wrecked. <laughs> Actually, let's just wait here. Yeah. So that that's that that plan didn't work out for them. They tried to rush me, and um, I think I've got three ships, which are no problem handling it. <laughs> ha! Yeah, this I think this one's in the bag unless they pull out like a death machine of some kind. Oh my god. <laughs> Wreckage. I love it. So yeah, this is uh, one to watch. Can't wait to see what they do with this game. I can't believe it's free. I almost feel bad, I, you know. I'm sure they've got a, a strategy though. So we've unlocked the battery. What's this? Point defense. Counter missiles. Yes, please. Uh, I don't think I need to upgrade my stuff. I think we're good. Oh, why does it always move the camera? Wait. Oh, I see. took me out with their goddamn torpedoes. This guy's still alive. Come on, guys. Yes. Ah, oh, shit. Did I, just, did I just... Yeah, I think I just destroyed my... Uh, oh, shit. No, he died. Right. Go, go, go. Bob and weave, guy. Bob and weave. No! I did it so close. Right. These guys are coming for you. Keep going guys. The game's in the the game is in the balance. Let's do it.
Nice. Did it. So from here we got torpedo launchers. Could do the bulk thruster now, I guess. Right, so we've got point defense. Okay, uh, if I go to here, where could we put the point defense? Counters the lasers. I like the idea we can do that. Uh, maybe I'll take one of these and just switch it up like that. Okay, let's try that. Whoa. Right. Oh shit. Uh, that point defense is going to come in handy. Wait. What the hell is that? A ship? That was a ship. Oh my god. What are these? Holy crap. Oh god. They've got so much armor. No. <laughs> I just got annihilated. <laughs> oh shit. Um. I don't think. Dead. Holy shit. I need battleships. No, my money. Ah, oh, no, this is basically <laughs> going to be the end, I think. <laughs> is that you, Viz? Huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. Um. Yeah, I think I'm about to get wrecked. Actually, this run I had myself muted. <laughs> ah, right, yeah. Look, I'm still waiting for the ability to build one ship. Yeah, dead. Damn! <laughs> heavyweight, heavyweight, two by two reactor. All right, well, this basically goes on all day. So, yeah, um, I've had a great time. Uh, hopefully... You know, I'll probably come back and play this again. I'll be playing it on my laptop for sure. It looks awesome. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.